Charlie McAllister bounced around campus to check in with students on how the weather has affected them in the past two weeks in their classes and in athletics. Yesterday, because of the freezing rain, my basketball practice got canceled and also my favorite class, Old Testament Theology, with Doc. I woke up to a text to my teacher saying we didn't have class, so all I had to do yesterday was a workout, and I chilled all day. Yesterday with the freezing rain was kind of crazy. About tripped twice on the way to the car, but uh, roads weren't too bad in the afternoon. We ended up getting a good practice in. Uh, a little bit slick, but not too bad. So what the change really has been, like, kind of nostalgic for me because it started making me remember about, uh, like, COVID season when we had online classes, so that was kind of fun. And now, let's dig into this week's Spartan Sports Update with Charlie McAllister. Good morning, Spartans. I'm Charlie McAllister bringing you your Spartan Sports Update. Daryl Mills, a member of MBU's wrestling team, was named AMC Wrestler of the Week for the second time this season. He went 2-2 two and two at the Missouri Valley Conference Invitational. Mills and his teammates will be back in action this weekend in Oklahoma City. The men's track and field team had an outstanding performance at the NAIA JUCO Challenge this past weekend. Donovan Denslow and Mason DeRose won individual titles in their events. In a field of 64 runners in a mile, three of MBU's runners were in the top 20 and picked up PRs as well. Throwers Jordan Walker-Wright and Colin Hudson earned three top 10 finishes in their event. Overall, the men's team placed nine out of 19 teams. The Spartans will compete this weekend at the Presempia Relays. Junior Elena Scott reached the NAIA B standard in the pole vault. Mia Reed was third out of 39 runners in the mile, making her the AMC Runner of the Week again. Angela Ward placed eight out of 36 runners in the 400 meter dash. The women's team finished 12th out of 22 teams. Women's basketball picked up its second conference win of the season against Hannibal LaGrange. Sophia Horton led the Spartans with 16 points. Kaylee Winch added 12 points of her own. These ladies couldn't be stopped. The team shot over 40%, knocked down seven three-pointers, and had 25 points off the bench in her 72 to 57 victory. The Spartans will return this Thursday against Williams Baptist on the road. This has been your Spartan Sports Update. I'm Charlie McAllister. Take it away, Jackson. That's all for this week's Timeline Update in the news. For more spectacular stories from around the MBU community, visit mbutimeline.mobap.edu at the link on your screen. For MBU Timeline, I'm Jackson Devers, and I'll see you next week's broadcast. My luck with cars is getting worse by the day, bro. I just got my car back. It hasn't even been two weeks. Leaking power steering fluid. Can't turn my wheel. But I'm not going to let that kill my vibe, bro, because today is race day at Cotty College. My last race was a 29.43. It's time to get it, man. Road to nationals. I know I can do it. We just got to keep working, putting in the work every single day, believing in ourselves, getting 1% better, 0.5% better. As long as you get better every single day, this doesn't just go for me in the race today. This is going out to y'all, man. Like, as long as y'all get better at whatever y'all want to do, that's all that matter, bro. Just get 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Just get better. Get better, bro. That's the main goal for the rest of 2023 leading into 2024. Hey, do they have chicken tenders at uh, McAllister's Deli? I think I only ate here like one time. No, I'm picky. But they got chicken tenders. Any positive words today, Coach? The tips aren't very good. Pause. Yup, we at the kids' side, man. Can I get a kids toasty with um, ham? Kids toasted ham? What's your side choice like to be? Uh, fruit. Fruit mm -hmm. and a large ice water. And a water? Mm hmm. Okay. And that'd be it. Okay, thank you, hon. Thanks, sir. Eating off the kids menu is kind of crazy. Bruh, look at this dude. Oh, look at this pace. Let's go, Isaac. Okay. I already walked the course two times and I hate the course. It's not good. Um, it's gravel, so I got to take out my spikes. I never ran a race without my spikes before, so that's going to be pretty challenging, but I'm not making up no excuses. I got one goal and one goal only. Stay next to the three guys, Ethan, Josiah, and Grant. If I can stay near them three guys, I'm going to PR. I'm going to beat that 29-43. Good job, Charlie. You got it. Keep it up. Let's go, Charlie. Let's go, Charlie. You got it, Charlie.
Another one! Show the shirt, bro. You gotta show off the shirt, man. The chimp. Yes, sir. When you in your grinding stage, like, that hunger is different. It's about if you can maintain it or not. How many of you, um, just by show of hands, live on campus? Yeah, okay. Um, and then if you don't, like, if you're a commuter student, like, how far away do you live? Like, minutes, let's say. 15, 40. 40? Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Are you serious? That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. Hour. What couple main restaurants would you like to see be added to maybe the cap? Where's Chris? What is it? Uh, Chick fil A. <laughs> Did you say Ruth Chris? <laughs> you think you'd have a market for Ruth Chris here? <laughs> maybe Dr. Ross could go to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Panda Express. Panda Express. Yeah. Steak and Shake, yeah. Uh, uh, See, I love Steak and Shake. I, mean, I like it every day. Just get some people who don't work in the morning or whatever, who don't work, that can come in that night to serve some of the kids that maybe just got off work, couldn't be there for dinner, or just people who don't have the craving until later. Maybe that can help do something too. That can add a different, maybe different foods than what you serve at the cafe. As soon as I get out of practice, I'm like, man, I want to go, you know, now, I don't really like the cat food like that, but some days, like, I'm like, man, I'm trying to save some money. Let me go to the cat, but I got work at, like, 6. Mm -hmm. Cat open at 5, or, like, I don't know. It's just shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. I think, to an extent, the cat has to be understanding, because I know when I was working there this past semester, literally, if you literally didn't get in there before 7.30 or our 8 o'clock threshold, we were... Dimming out the lights, we were throwing food away, like literally. We were discarding stuff because if they set those hours to work within the hours of the school, they know that, okay, well, in order for us to be able to make some money, we have to be able to keep these hours the same. They should just have students running too because, like, I mean, in the, in the, well, I know it's like, I'm not going to say his name, but it's a guy that I know in there. Like, he's ready to go, you know what I'm saying? He, he probably got like a 20, 25, 30 minute drive back home, so I understand yeah. that. Because I know I am when I'm trying to get off work, but like, that's why you should have students. Yeah. You know? But then, like, I don't, know, I don't know how you would do that, because most students, like, we, we, like, we have classes and stuff, yeah. so. I mean, so they have, so I think, I, I think this semester they just they implemented uh, something where it's now self serve where they want you to serve yourself at all of the stations, which I think that's great. Hmm. But I also think that we need some new food options. Let's clap it up. Everybody, let's clap it up. You are a unique person. Don't give them who you think that they think you should be. That ain't you. Give them you. So for me, it's real easy because we have practice early in the mornings. Then you got the whole rest of the day to get your homework done. And you can still go to the gym after that too. I got my grades up right now just by doing that. Oh, you good, bro. You got you got like five, ten more tries. Oh! You good, bro? <laughs> he started off with the off the backboard. That's how I know he can dunk. He said, "Scrap it." <laughs> hey, there we go. Luckily for us, most of the students that come here are already. Uh, approaching this with a goal and mindset. They want to win a championship. They want to maybe transfer somewhere to a, a bigger school. They want to be pros. Everybody is, uh, is different, but they all have goals. So I make sure that I get to know them first. I know what they're going to accomplish and keep them to that standard like of work ethic and uh, consistency so that they can reach that goal. So that's just my job as a coach. Uh, and that will eventually help all of our uh, student athletes or players and help our program to achieve success throughout the year. As a track athlete, what keeps you motivated to work hard every day and your spirit will be good and uh, also keep your grades up? Mostly trying to keep my scholarship and especially at conference, trying to get better myself so I can score more points for my team. You know, we got to beat Columbia, so we got to stay focused on that. And uh, grades, I mean, eligibility. You got to be eligible in the spring. It's where it counts most. You know, indoor, outdoor, both conferences. You got to keep your grades up to be able to compete. Well, that was fine. Appreciate you. Man. I'm the only time to get there. I'm going 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 to get there.
Ủa sao không? Để gắn cho nhà thuốc nhiều người gắn cho mình Ở trên thì em không biết gì Thì em nói là không phải chú ý dường đâu Thì em biết không? Chú ý dường đâu Chú ý dường đâu Chú ý dường đâu This came for chapel So like I said I asked if I was uh, As a game day in school And stuff But it wasn't hard And they gave me a very hard But you don't have to Put it down like four in it And then I have to You don't have to I was just saying I should have got broken like that You still have a band on, you put it in there. You probably just don't need something to talk to me. You don't want to do this with me. That's why I can't. I don't even know how long I'm going to be able to do this with me. I got the coach in there. I got my own food in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 20 minutes later. So for me, it's real easy because we have practice early in the morning. Then you get the whole rest of the day to get your homework done. You can still go to the gym after that too. I got my grades up right now just by doing that. Luckily for us, most of the students that come here are already approaching this with a goal and mindset. They want to win a championship. They want to be pros. Everybody is different, but they all have goals. So I make sure that I get to know them first. I know what they're going to accomplish and keep them to that standard like of work ethic and uh, consistency so that they can reach that goal. Eligibility. You got to be eligible in the spring. It's where it counts most. You know, indoor, outdoor, both conferences. You got to keep your grades up to be able to compete. You can't cheat the grind and know how many hours, how many minutes, how much time you put into it. Same applies to yourself.